I'm bored. Let's see how strong we can get on the first two hours of the game. Yes! Where can I- where can, yeah, where can I buy fire? That's fucking crazy! I'm dead! <laughs> no fuck! It's an open world bust. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Hey! Oh! <laughs> oh! I didn't even get to use fucking Sword of Night and Flame. Initially, I wanted to make a build video from the start until I finished the game, but I already did that in another video. Some of the methods in that video have been patched though, so... Regardless, this build still works, it still can get to the end game and easily beat the game. For this video though, I just wanted to have fun. So, let's get started. Yeah, why not? However, you are, maidenless. are you sure I'm not the maiden? I am the maiden. <laughs> so dumb. No. I bequeath to you this ring. After getting Torrent, you should have 8 Flask and upgraded them to plus 10 and be level 70. You know, the normal stuff that players should have at the beginning of the game. But I skipped that and I wanted to see just how fast I could make my character strong. And the first item I grabbed was the Sword of Night and Flame. Then I moved on to the other items I'm after that. The hole. Ah, I should have jumped from the hole. Yes! I also grabbed the Dectus Medallions for early Altus Plateau, so I can get Somber Stones 5 and 6. And most importantly, Holy Arrows. Where can I- where, yeah, where can I buy Fire Arrows, actually? That's fucking crazy! I'm dead! <laughs> Whoa! Use it, fool! Yep. And then I grabbed the bow from the round table hold, which surprisingly has a strong Ash of War if your boss is standing still. I then killed the death right bird and how from software intended me to do it. Bung. Oops. So it takes about like 21 arrows. The bird gave me lots of runes, but most importantly, the death poker weapon. Yes! This weapon this weapon is wicked. This shit is nuts. I killed another death right bird. The other death right bird gave me the red feather branch, or for Dark Souls players, the red tear stone ring. Yes, give me that! And the earth tree avatar. I'm trolling! Fuck. And the earth tree avatar gave me the magic cracked tear. Yeah! Hey! I then got Terra Magica. Fuck. Now, there's gonna be two Crystallian bosses before you get Terra Magica. They are easy if you bring Oonga Boonga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all the way at the top. Look at me. 20 intellect. I just need 20 intellect. Woo! Commander O'Neill is a tough boss. No! But it's an open world boss, which means I can just <laughs> poison mist him. <laughs> now, to cast spells with, I grabbed the meteorite staff which requires zero stats, so that means I can use it at the start of the game. 
I also grab Gold Pickled Foulfoot that you can find around Limgrave, which increases your rune gain. A few more things before I'm done with preparation. I grab the Uchi Katana so I can bleed the big lizard. And speaking of the big dragon, if you kill it and then rest at the gray site before it disappears, you can actually glitch it and it'll give you the runes but it'll respawn back. So, you know, there's something there. <laughs> I also grabbed the bloody slash so I can use the red feathered branch. I also needed around 45,000 souls in order to upgrade both weapons to plus 6. For the weapons I'm using, they need somber stones for me to upgrade them, and EG sells sombers 1 through 4. By that. By that. By that. Now, for sombers 5 and 6, I can find them in the mines in Altus Plateau, and another plus 6 on top of Mount Gelmir, near a dog. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at this early build. Two plus six somber weapons, and both of them are the most broken weapons in the game. And with the bosses I killed, and also the big dragon for more runes, my stats look like this. The minimum requirements for commander's standard, and then the dexterity, faith, and intellect for me to use death's poker and sword of night and flame. Perfect level 50. I'm a perfect level 50. That was a lot of gathering, and I mean a lot of gathering. That took me around two to three hours of preparations. Well, three hours if you're me. I'm assuming you're not me. Plus, I was doing laundry that day, so. Oh, my clothes, they're in the dryer. I left them in the dryer. I'll be right back. Ooh, they're warm. But it should usually take you about two hours. And I come to this question again. How strong did I get at the start of the game? I have a better question. Was it worth wasting three hours preparing for one boss fight or for the entire game? Yes! Hell yes! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Okay! I didn't even get to use... I didn't even get to use... I didn't even get to use fucking Sword of Night and Flame. Deliver me unto... Wait. <laughs> I need you guys to realize a true combo here must be done. I am the Lord. <laughs> Woo! I would probably do it again. Probably. For Renala, since she's super resistant to magic damage. I just used this weapon that I found on a body. There we go. Here. Should be able to do this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't worry. This is part of the game, okay? Hell no. Blendered. Come on, my turn. Me too. Bang. Goodbye. And like I said, I can take this early build all the way to the end game and beat the game. You know, but you can already assume how that's gonna be. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. Staying still is a mistake. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay. No worries. Yes! Whoa! Yes! 
that counts, that counts. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, baby. That's how we fucking do it. <laughs> Holy shit, good luck. Huh! What the fuck? I'm dead. Woo! Now you're dead. Yeah! First try, baby. Boom. <laughs> Shall not be forgiven. Oh, I fucking used it too late. Fuck. Where is he? Oh, I'm so sorry. Deep fried this man in fucking magic. I'm only level 60, by the way. Which is not. I'm. So oh, nice. 69. Nice. To show you guys how potent this early build is, I'm gonna fight Moog, one of the toughest bosses in the game. And I'm doing it at level 7, okay? But with plus 10 weapon and a plus 9. Should be good enough. Yeah! Try. <laughs> oh my god! The wolves kill him? Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! That was really fun. Woo! I'm so glad I did this. But anyways, thanks for watching this short video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, motherfucker.